understanding God's creature, an English phrase explained. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're diving into the phrase, God's creature. This phrase is used in various contexts, and understanding its meaning can add depth to your English comprehension and conversation skills. Let's explore what it means and how to use it effectively. The phrase, God's creature, has a religious and philosophical origin. It refers to any living being created by God. This includes humans, animals, plants, and essentially all forms of life. In English, this phrase is often used to emphasize the importance of every living being and to express a sense of universal connection and respect for all forms of life. God's creature can be used in various contexts. 1. Religious or spiritual talks. It's often used in religious contexts to discuss the sanctity of life. 2. Environmental discussions. When talking about the environment, this phrase can highlight the importance of every species and the need for conservation. 3. Ethical and moral debates. It's used to advocate for humane treatment of animals or to discuss human rights, stressing that every being has value. 1. We must protect the rainforest because every god's creature there plays a role in our ecosystem. 2. In his sermon, the priest reminded us that we should treat each other kindly, as we are all god's creatures. 3. As a vegan, she believes that every god's creature has the right to live free from harm. It's important to note that the phrase isn't exclusively religious. It can be used secularly to express a respect for all life forms. Also, it's not just about animals. It includes all living beings, including humans. Understanding phrases like, God's creature, is crucial in mastering English, especially in diverse cultural and philosophical discussions. We hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and usage. Remember, Every word and phrase can open up a new world of expression and understanding. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.